<sighs> YouTube hasn't changed my life. Or maybe, but no, in a good way. Lately, I've been seeing people making videos of how, with few subscribers, how they just start probably YouTube and they're changing their life. Their life has been changed in a good way. And don't get me wrong, I love those stories. I love the stories where you only upload one video, two, maybe even 15. And they get so many subscribers, they can quit their job and they can start full-time YouTube. I love those stories. I'm happy for them. It's motivating. But I want to be honest. YouTube, for the most of us, that's not our journey. That's not exactly what happened. It's amazing to hear those stories. But let me tell you what it is to be a YouTuber. The dark side. Not the really dark, but it could be really depressing. Sometimes it's really easy to get tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Not only because it's 4 o'clock in the morning, but um, you're choosing to spend time creating these videos. And uh, you maybe could have used it to be with your family. And the reality is that um, it takes too long for some people. For the majority of people like me, take a lot of time. That's why I think YouTube has changed my life in a bad way sometimes. What I'm talking about is it's a journey where... You have to learn a lot and you have to worry about so many things since the camera is it on is you can hear me can you even see me you have to worry about me in my case that i have a art channel where i create a sculpture i used to enjoy a lot of sculpture even if i'm not that good at it sometimes a stressful day finish working or maybe a day off and i would like just to sit down and create my art but I'm always thinking, I can create a video. I can use that material to share something that I would like to share. But also I have to worry if my hands are on the way of the camera. Do I have the perfect angle? Do I have the perfect B-roll? Don't get me wrong, one of the other things that are stressful is that you can have a plan, you can have a script, you can have, I don't use a script, but I could have one. You can have like the perfect B-roll. But you are editing the video really late at night, really early in the morning. You're putting so much time and just watching again and again and again and again your video that end up being like five hours or three hours of footage. In the end result, it's the worst thing that you have done, that you have ever done, that maybe people don't understand that maybe you could be really good, but doing this is really bad. No, it show or it looks like you don't know anything. A lot of time that lives for me is because lack of time. No, YouTube is like my fourth job. And I'm not kidding. For a lot of people, it's their second job. It's a lot of time. You have to have also not only the time to spend on it, but also money to spend in material like me. That I spent so much money during the years. Could be frustrating because I've been creating YouTube for a long time. For a long, long, long time. I think my first YouTube channel was 2008. At the end of 2007, 2008 is when it started. I'm still here. And it is a lonely journey. Why I haven't made it? You can say that because of so many mistakes that I did. And it's true. But also like Rocky Balboa said once, nothing's gonna hit you harder than life. And oh boy, life has hit me hard, really hard. Sometimes I feel like life is cold and it just has thrown me around. When I'm really, really in the good place, he come back and does it. That's like, that's like for you. Like, it's frustrating. YouTube is frustrating. You don't see your views going up. You don't see your revenue going up. You have all this time that you dedicate to a video and you have people complaining. Why you didn't talk about this? Why this information that I wanted, you didn't imagine it and create a video about it? Why you talk too much? Why you make so many mistakes? Why you miss a word or pronounce this wrong? Why, why, why? Or they tell you right away. Your creation are horrible. What are you doing? You don't know how to talk. It's frustrating. It's frustrating that you work on your video. You put certain information that you want to share. And you still have comments in that same video. Hey, can you tell me about this? The video is about that. I answer your question in the video. If you watch it, you'll have the answer. You just want a quick answer, of course. And I understand. I'm wrong. I love to answer my comments. 
And it's fun, you know, and I love to share that. But also, it's hard to explain things. That's why you make the video, so they can see it, and it's a little bit better and easier. Uh, at least, that's what I think. Also, the videos, sometimes I have a series of videos that I explain everything in more details, but you have to watch them all. And of course, people want something quickly. So that's when they start complaining about other things without knowing sometimes the reason behind the video. They understand that you don't really get paid unless you are, at least in my opinion, in the millions, or maybe not, maybe in the half a million subscribers. You cannot really live out of your videos on YouTube. I mean, depending where you are in the world, but um, it's hard, it's hard. And everything gets more expensive every day and YouTube gets complicated, more people doing it, doing better videos. And you are in this pool of videos where you have so much information, what to do? Post every single day, post shorts, do long content format. You have so many that are doing maybe something similar, but they're way better. You're always gonna have someone better, doing it better than you. I know I don't like the work better, but um, they're better. <laughs> That's just the reality. And then your videos get very, very, and also the mistakes that happen. I've been doing YouTube for so many years, and I know and understand now my slow grow because of the mistake that I've done. It's not even that my videos are bad. It's just the content that I put out there, no? It's hard, it's hard, you're gonna have family members, you're gonna have friends, you're gonna have co-workers, and they kind of uh, will laugh at you, say, oh yeah, everyone wants to be a YouTuber, everyone wants to do the easy thing, and it's not easy, <laughs> it's not easy, it could be really lonely, no, you're just by yourself in a room, by the way, I'm just borrowing this room, it's not mine, but uh, if your crew is just one person, of course you're gonna be lonely. Doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, just that it could be lonely. It could be depressing, like I said. You can be in this pool of YouTubers, and the numbers are kind of scary. Let's let's see it. So I've been looking around, and uh, I found so many information. Different ones, sometimes slightly the numbers changes. But for sure, the numbers are scary and depressing for a YouTuber. What I'm talking about, imagine that you're in this pool of YouTubers. I'm going to call this like the universe. YouTube universe is insane. It's just a tiny, a micro, we're gonna call it maybe a galaxy from the whole universe gets monetized. Yes, gets monetized. We go inside that galaxy in this pool of planets, stars that are monetized. We're talking about that the ones that are monetized first make pennies. No, uh, someone that's monetized could be someone that get to the thousand subscribers in the 4,000 hours watch or the 10 million on short. But they start making pennies, cents. So those are part of the pool that I'm talking about that are monetized. Now inside, it will go deeper. It's a smaller, smaller amount that will be able to get to 10,000 subscribers. A huge percentage of this tiny bubble of this galaxy never will get to 10,000. And to be honest, 10,000 doesn't seem that much. And I hope that I'll get there. <laughs> Please subscribe. And then if we go deeper, a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage gonna get to the 100,000, a tinier one gonna get to the million. It's just a fraction of this whole universe of YouTube, the one that really, really make it. It felt like when you, when I was a kid and everyone, in, you hear a lot of people wanted to be a superstar movie actor. And it's not that easy. And that's the reality. It's, it's frustrating because it makes me think, what am I doing? Am I wasting my time? I mean, of course, you already have many years doing this. So it's insane. So what do you think? Do you really want to be a YouTuber? I'm not here to crush anyone's dream. Because for sure, if I start again, I'll probably do many things differently. But at the same time, and this is one of the downsides also of YouTube, you already work so hard in one channel. You already work, you already have a hundred, well, at least a hundred of videos on your channel. 
and just to change everything. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with structuring and changing things in your channel. But uh, like in my case, I, I do different things. And I have people unsubscribing because instead of doing a sculpture, I do or I give information about 3D printing. Or I create a cement sculpture and they only wanted to see polymer clay sculptures. We can say, I wouldn't say different niches, but uh, just different things that I can see. I can see why my videos are so growing so slow because not only about the quality, I know, but also because they're for different people. And that's not you too. I mean, at least not if you want to grow. Like I said, when you're really, really big, it doesn't matter where you put, people will like to see it because they like you know the video. But well, you are a small channel. I mean, most people will only care about uh, a specific information. But I cannot help it. You no, know, people ask me about 3D printing. I love to share, you no? Know? I've been lucky enough to have a 3D printer and be able to print. I'm lucky enough to be able to have different type of clays, you no know, work with cement, being able to do it. Of course, I want to share that. I know it's not convenient. I know it's hurting my channel. I know YouTube punish if you don't create content consistently. Yes, yeah, they say don't worry about it, but the truth is you have to worry about it. Why? 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 If this is so complicated, if this is so hard, if this is sometimes a nightmare, sometimes your videos are corrupt and this is, I don't know how many times I've recorded this video and it's not even because of the content or me talking in a bad way or missing certain things which I always miss something but uh, it's more about it's because things happen now I bought a microphone so I can have a better quality on the sound and it wasn't working it wasn't working it had battery it wasn't working that's why right now I'm reshooting another day another week with just this sound sorry about that but but why if it is so many things bad if it is stressful if it is lonely if it is maybe something that will never happen, why do I keep doing YouTube videos? Why am I still here? Why? Sometimes I actually I ask that, why? But let's see. And I have to say that the reason is the viewers, the subscribers. That maybe sound like a cliche, but um, if you're a small YouTuber, and that's maybe one of the reasons you're watching this video, or you want to start a YouTube channel, let me tell you. <laughs> imagine, just imagine the people that have a million subscribers, the people that have a hundred thousand subscribers, the people that only have five thousand, or even the people that only have one subscriber. No, I remember the first subscriber that I had just blow my mind. And I know that nowadays we're used to subscribing and following a lot of influencers or content creators or whatever you want to call them or call us. For me, that was a long time ago, back in 2008 or 2007, I don't know when, knowing that one person in the entire world, only one person, you only need one person, like your best friend, you only need one, but one person in the whole world saw something in your video and subscribe. It saw some value on your video and subscribe. That's priceless. That's priceless. And then you keep going. You have a hundred people, a hundred people following you. Just, I was amazed. Thank you, by the way, everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. If you haven't, please subscribe, comment below and share. But uh, definitely, <laughs> just imagine a hundred people deciding, you know what? I want to keep seeing you. I want to keep watching your videos. They're not the best, but are, they want to do it. That just amazing. Right now I'm so happy I'm in the 2,500 subscribers and it's going up. 2,500 people. It's amazing. And it's not about trying to boost your ego like, oh wow, they're subscribing to me. No, or at least not for me. So many comments that I have. Thank you. Thank you, your video helped me. I'm not saving lives. I'm not changing people's lives. But they tell me. I'm so glad that you did this video. It helped me so much doing this. I was able to do a gift that I wanted for so long 
to give to my dad. Uh, thank you so much because that's exactly what I needed right now. Some people even tell me, I don't even do art or it's not really something that, that I will follow. Any of the tutorials, any of what you show. But I still watch your videos. I like it. Those things are the ones that are, keep pushing me. No, people knowing that I, they're subscribing because they want to know more. People that are thankful because they saw something in my video that had value. That is priceless. That is priceless. That people connection that I think that was from the beginning of YouTube the most important thing. That you share. And like I said, I'm not saving life, but helping someone create or finishing a project or just knowing about the material, it's priceless. That's why I keep doing it. That's why I keep spending material. <laughs> That's why YouTube is like my fourth job. No kidding. So it's worth it. It's worth it if you're sharing something that you're passionate about, something that you really, really want to share. And YouTube has these good things. No, like you get more knowledgeable. I could have been keep going with my art and knowing certain things, maybe the same, but not at the velocity or not at the precise rate. When I'm talking about, I have a lot of people asking me questions and I have to dig, you know, I don't know everything. People expect you to know everything, but I don't. So I need to make sure that if I answer something, at least I check three times somewhere, online on my experience, but I, that I'm not just gonna say it for saying it. No, I need to make sure. But yeah, the people are the um, the one that just motivate me to keep going, keep going, and hopefully someday, someday I can just do YouTube and do better videos, bigger projects. But um, until then, you know, keep doing videos, keep enjoying art. Please subscribe. See you next time. Enjoy art. This is super cold. And it's dark outside. How long have I been here? <laughs>